Ayun here from SingaporeOLevelMax.com. Today I'm going to be sharing with you four features of quadratic graph. Let us first take a look at the graph that I've drawn on board. Now for quadratic graph, there are basically two main shapes. What you see in front of here is what I call it the happy face. Some of you might call it the U shape. So, what is the other shape for quadratic graph? It will be what I call the sad face. And some of you call it the N shape. Now, when does it happen whereby it will be a happy face? You look at the highest power in the equation. And in this case, it is our x squared term. The coefficient of our x squared is a positive 1. And the meaning of coefficient is the constant term in front of x squared. So since it's positive, we have a happy face graph. Now, the first features I want to share with you is, let's zoom in on these two points over here. These are our x-intercept. Let me just put it down over here. And the meaning of x-intercept refers to the part where the graph cuts the x-axis. So what's the big deal about x-intercept? Now, x-intercept has something special. The y-coordinate is always 0. With that understanding, we can find it easily by setting the equation, the value of y to be 0. So this will be the equation that you will be looking at and we will need to solve this quadratic equation. This is considered a simple quadratic equation and we can actually solve it by simple factorization method. I call it the cross method. Let me share with you how I can go about doing this. So this is x, x, x squared. So we've got 5, 1, 5, negative 5x, negative x, negative 6x. So with that, these are the two factors. And then we solve for it. We have two values of x. And we can put it into our graph over here. So the two x-intercepts are 1, 0, 5, 0. We're done with the first point. Now, the second point will be our y-intercept. How do we find our y-intercept? Once again, it comes down to the diagram over here. Y-intercept is the part of the graph where it cuts the y-axis. What's so special? The x-coordinate of this point is 0. With that, we can go back to the equation. We set the value of x to be 0. So, 0 squared minus 6 times 0, which is 0. So, we're left with the 5, which means to say the y-coordinate is 0, comma. So this is our second point, third point. Now, our third point will be our turning point. What is a turning point? For this happy shaped graph over here, the turning point is here. I'll mark it out with a cross. In this case, it is our minimum point. How do we find the value of the minimum point? Well, it is rather simple. Between 1 and 5, what will be the number in between? That will be the x-coordinate of this minimum point. So, by logic, it is 3. Because 3 is directly in between your 1 and 5. Now, what if there were some numbers that was not so easy? A quick way will be you take the x-coordinate of your x-intercept, add them together, divide by 2. You will get the same answer. And that was just part of your minimum point. How do you find the other value here? You do a substitution. When x is equal to 3, substitute this value into the equation. y is equal to 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 5. Okay, so this is the working itself. When you press your calculator, this will be the value that you have, which is minus 4. We put it in here. This is what we call the minimum point, coordinate 3, comma, minus 4. And the last feature will be what I call line of symmetry. Allow me to draw where that line of symmetry is. It is over here. It will cut through your turning point, which is your minimal point. The blue line over here is what we call line of symmetry. Let me just write it down for you. And the thing that you need to know about line of symmetry is you need to be able to state the equation. 
How do we state the equation of this? The equation will just simply be x equals to 3. This is the standard equation for all vertical lines. So, in summary, these are the four features of quadratic graph that you need to know. You need to know how to find the coordinates. Once you master this, you have mastered part of quadratic graph. I'll see you in the next video where I'll be sharing with you how do we draw a quadratic graph given an equation. Thank you.